Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Stola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. The subject today is my Nissan Leaf batteries and how you can easily damage them. So as you can see, I have three of them that are swollen, you could see. How the, the case is swollen. There's the second one. You can see. And here is what a normal one looks like. The so normal one looks usually thin, no bulge, even though this is a Gen 2, that's a Gen 1. There shouldn't be much difference in the size of the batteries. So what happened? Well, we tried charging, obviously we had the PMS connected, and then someone in his infinite wisdom removed it because they were having some issues, and they charged the batteries without the BMS, and that resulted in destruction of these cells. So what advice do I give you? Um, it's absolutely necessary you use a BMS. Um, when you're not using one, even if you limit the voltage that you're going to charge, you have some cells that will run off, while some don't. And obviously these three run off, and they're overcharged. So to avoid, if you have any suggestions actually as to how I can recover these cells, please post them below. I've heard putting them in refrigerators or freezers. I don't think that would work. But if you know of anyone that's had experiences recovering them, feel free to post them. I'll try them and report back to you. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria with my damaged Nissan Leaf batteries. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up.